Good afternoon, everybody. The evidence of your desire for equality and justice, the restoration of democracy, is evident by your presence today. In a few moments, the acting governor will come out to meet us and we will present to her an eight-page document which indicates all our grievances in regards to His Excellency the Governor's decision not to allow for a commission of inquiry into historic and modern-day land thefts in this country to occur. In addition, he has also grievances which point out the apparent collusion between Government House and the One Bermuda Alliance government not over one month or one issue, but over 18 months and at least 20 yeah. issues. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, let me be clear. Do we expect the foreign and commonwealth office to whom this document is addressed to, to respond accordingly to our wishes and desires for justice? Let me ask you again. Yeah, for real. Yeah. 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 We will be sure that they want not just the idea and exercising your democratic right. It's when you think there's not an opportunity to get justice, to accomplish the goal that you're seeking, you have to press forward. So even though historically you shouldn't expect the foreign and commonwealth office to respond to your demands, it's to your real power and your desire to assert yourself, your desire to take your rightful place in your country. Labour Party caucus, on behalf of MP Walton Brown, his wisdom, allow for this discussion. <laughs> Let it never be questioned that the Progressive Labour Party is here to serve the greater interest and greater good of this country. But rest assured, that you'll always be put first from this day on forward. And the relationship between us and the UK, the One Bermuda Alliance, government and you has to evolve. That relationship must evolve. And once it evolves, you have to be ready to pick up cooperate with one another so we could compete against everyone else who is trying to marginalize you in your turn So unity is strength. And the real adage that people who are united will never be defeated. It's a good reminder for the young people who are here today. It's a good reminder for our elders who have fought blood, sweat, and tears. that the young people are going to have the courage if we succumb to fear then the next generation will not have a Bermuda that's riding between their legs. It's actually more than just symbolism. If we don't get the required response from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, I'm going to ask of you to mobilize again and press until we get justice. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, that this be the start of us becoming the masters of our collective.
Okay, it's not you for that.